Hello everyone, welcome again to Easy Media YouTube channel. This video is going to be on the unboxing of the Hobson Zeno Mini Pro. Here you go, here's the box that actually came with the uh, Hobson Zeno that I ordered from AliExpress. Uh, I don't know for some reasons it didn't come with the original box, but this is what I got. And inside the box you have the bag. So I actually got this uh, Hobson Zeno uh, with the bag. So it usually you can actually buy without the bag or you can buy uh, with the bag and other accessories but inside the, the bag here you see the bag is actually just like the DJI Mini Pro it has a zip there to put the accessories here you go the manual then the remote controller which look exactly like the um, Mavic Mini that's the bottom plates for the cooler uh, for the heat uh, plate then in there you have also kinds of uh, USB that's the type C then this is the USB that connects to the phone then the battery charger this you connect to the battery and you hook up the micro USB to charge and you have the uh, propeller uh, screwdriver if you want to take out the screwdriver you have the spare uh, propellers there also so that also comes in the bag here is the other micro uh, USB and that's the extra joysticks that you have in the bag so in the bag inside you have the uh, Hobson Zeno Mini Pro which is just below the bag and here you go here's the Hobson Zeno the Hobson Zeno actually it's a wonderful drone that actually has obstacle avoidance that the DJI Mini series they have the bag there you see the crest that has the Hobson Zeno and first you have the user manual it's going to tell you every basically everything about the drone and how to fly for the first time as regards to getting started so uh, that's the user manual i don't usually go through the manual i know already how the drone flies so that's it so basically these are the components all the parts that comes with the drone and there you go so i'm gonna start with um, hobson's in a mini pro as you see there the finishing is quite uh, a, um, extraordinary. I, I mean, uh, for uh, Hobson, a competitor to uh, DJI, you can actually um, see the good work and the fantastic job they did in creating this. That's the bottom there where you have the uh, sensors in below. You have the sensors also in front. The body, the, the make is it's, it's, it's amazing, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna take out the propellers like you see and the propellers actually uh, opens up uh, back to front and front to back just like you see and there you go you have all this uh, you have two ports in the side that's the front the top there you see it's clean finished that job that they did there so that's the obstacle avoidance in the front the sensors it's fantastic I'm gonna take out the gimbal protect protector here and as you see that's the three axis gimbal that's uh hops you know it's um uh, this is a wonderful uh, uh production that they have here i'm gonna take out the film so you see exactly how the camera looks and that's it it's the 1.3 inch sensor camera and there you have the gimbal the bottom plate is right there that's the um led lights the sensor and basically how uh, you see it's it's amazing. I, I'm just uh, short of words. So um, as you see the drone is 249 grams and There you have the USB port there. So uh, one thing you should know there's no um, Slot for the SD card. So there's no gonna be flying with SD card So but the good thing is that uh, the drone comes in uh, inbuilt memory so for this one, it's it actually comes with a 64 gig. You can actually get uh, less than that, which is 32 gig. But for this one, there is no uh, SD card, so you're gonna get 64 gig for this one that I got, which is uh, amazing. Then you have the um, intelligent battery that you see right there on screen. You have one sensor below, one sensor below, two in front, and two behind. That's amazing. It's actually wonderful. So again, the finishing of this drone is fantastic. I'm really amazed and astonished that they can actually pull this through and it's it's beautiful. So here you have the intelligent battery. You just click on the side and you pull it off. It's uh, not too heavy. I think this is more lighter than the DJI Mini 2 battery. And it's amazing how they can actually pull this through. So first of all, you already know the drone doesn't have a back cover. You have a, a micro USB port there. That 
that's just to take out the footage from the drone and that's what is meant for there so uh, basically that's everything you see this is the Hobson Zeno Mini, Mini Pro and it's it's here and it's live so here the intelligent battery one very very good thing you should know is that the intelligent battery on its own can come up and you see the sense of the uh, the levels there it's actually showing that it's a three level um, power in the battery so you just plug it in and the drone is definitely gonna start if you pull that push that button the button under a battery and the drone is gonna power up so this is the um, the bottom plate that you see here is actually to prevent uh, you from getting <laughs> burned or <laughs> to actually cool the, the, the plate, the, the hot plate under the drone. So again, let's go back to the intelligent battery and I'll just show you how this works. The intelligent battery that you see here actually works like a power bank. So if you put in the, uh, the battery charger below, you see the light comes on. You just push that button and it's gonna go off so when you want to charge like i'm going to show you using this battery like a power bank so you hook up your usb cable and plug your device you want to charge turn on the battery like you see press the button once and pull down then you see it starts charging start giving a power to charge your device so i'm going to try it again so you see that's a, a battery charger i have for my camera and i'm plugging it in and you see it's charging the batteries it's amazing it's wonderful this is one feature that the dji don't have that the hobson zeno is actually striving and it's making waves for now so that's the part where you if you want to charge your battery you have the other usb cable that's the micro usb cable you just plug the usb cable to that port and the battery should charge the minute you plug it to power so you plug it to a usb adapter and uh, you're gonna see the lights blinking there and the battery is gonna start charging just like you see so that's how you charge the battery you plug in the usb cable to the battery charger and just plug the battery and that's it uh, again, I'm going to show you guys this. If you plug your uh, power uh, USB to that port at the back, it's not going to charge the drone again. That's just to take out the footage and the and the photos or images you took with the drone uh, from the uh, drone itself. So on the uh, remote controller, you have the antennas, you have the function button, the record button, the, the gimbal move uh, direction button, and the snap button there. It's beautiful I like the make the finishing again is excellent you have the return to home button there you have the uh, different modes that you want to fly the drone and you have the power button in the middle so if you push the power button you're gonna see that icon on the screen there that shows the level of the battery in the in the uh, remote controller that's uh, another uh, lovely thing to have that LED display uh, you have the uh, remote control the controller that's the joystick for the controller inside there you just take them up and screw them on it and you just start controlling and flying it's i like the finishing it's smooth and you have this uh, other uh, micro usb cable that's gonna be used for charging the remote controller and you have the extra propellers and the extra joysticks there that comes with the drone the extra propellers are just four and uh, you're just gonna use them for any broken controller and here is the uh, phone um, the mobile device uh, USB cable that connects the controller to the USB to the mobile device there you go I'm gonna use the uh, USB-C all you need to do is plug the cable to the remote controller and the other end to your mobile device so it depends on the device you want to use again just like every regular drone you have the um, apple cable you have the type uh, uh, micro usb and the usb c so there you have there you go the the heat plate on the bottom and you have the bottom plate uh, i had uh, in some comments in the website where i bought this drone uh, that some people didn't get their plates uh, with the drone when it comes but i'm lucky to have mine i'm just going to do a quick check on how the remote controller connects to the device i just plugged it in and you're going to see it. it's going to prompt you to uh, download the app that's the hubs you know app and you just download it from the app store and there you go 
and it's pretty very easy and straightforward though for the first time you're gonna need a lot of upgrade you need to do uh, like updates for the drone just like you see here it's telling me that the drone needs to update uh, when I logged in so you need to create an account which is very very important and you activate the drone after creating the account so it's gonna tell you activation and you put in your mobile number and that's it so you get your mobile phone connected to the remote controller and then you power up your drone and you just start flying uh, there are basically some calibrations you need to do since it's the first time and I'm not gonna do that in this video I'm just gonna show you how it connects and what upgrade it prompts up first so firmware upgrade is the first number one thing you're gonna do and you just hit upgrade and that's it so for now but the battery is just three percent and now you see it's just three uh, bar I'm gonna power it off because the battery is not strong enough to hold the upgrade uh, but first it's gonna tell you power of the drone and you just upgrade first in your mobile device so you download firmware files to your uh, mobile device and after downloading the firmware files you are gonna turn on the drone and unplug the um, controller and connect the uh, controller cable to the drone to actually complete the upgrade for the device that is for the um, uh, Hobson Zeno Mini Pro so there you see I'm actually gonna do this download this video is gonna be just basically showing you exactly what's in the box like a review and showing you how the upgrade goes again my battery it's going down so but here the update is complete and you need to restart the uh, remote controller and then the next step will be connecting the mobile device via the USB cable to the drone itself then you upgrade the drone and you hook up back the controller and are you ready to fly so yeah it tells you the joystick mode uh, usually it's the mode 2 that it's um, the same with the DJI and the first time you do this is gonna just show you device statues just basically uh, overview of what every uh, icon on the screen there it's all about so there it shows the battery the camera parameters the gimbal the camera mode and every other thing the zoom and all the other features that you see on the screen and when you walk through, through this process it's just gonna power up uh, the app and you're gonna see the interface so for now the drone is turned off so you're not gonna see anything on camera by default the camera is turned off every time you turn on the drone uh, when it's connected the controller until you start the propellers before the camera comes up and you're ready to fly I think one of the reasons why they did this is because uh, um, Hobson Zeno is trying to keep the battery to the um, highest performance so it's not going to turn on the camera and, uh, just to save more batteries for your flight time so there you go another upgrade for firmware this time is going to tell you to connect the usb cable to the drone and you're going to upgrade it with the mobile device with the files that are already downloaded i'm not going to do that in this video like i said i'm just going to plug the battery because the battery has only three levels right now and i'm just going to charge and hopefully uh next video you're gonna see basically how to go through those process then how i'm gonna do my first flight with the hobson zeno mini pro i'm so so happy and so excited to have my hobson zeno mini pro the next generation drone with obstacle avoidance i hope you guys like this video and if this is your first time here don't forget to like smash the subscribe button and leave a comment and uh, for our returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back it's amazing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye